Alright guys, what's going on? Uh, welcome to a little video on the Battery Historian tool. So there isn't actually much information about this tool and, and Project Volta in general. And I'm actually going to show you essentially well, the Battery Historian in this video. So first thing you'll need to do is, you'll need to watch this video in 720 or 1080p, otherwise you won't be able to see what I'm doing. Mostly because you know, the text is quite small on my uh, command prompts. Now, the Battery Historian records, I, I think it's the last day worth of or it displays the last day worth of battery um usage information things like wake locks and such the only problem with the uh, battery historian is or the thing is a it's actually just a tool which is used to visualize that it's it actually comes from the bug report so you basically take a bug report which contains tons of information it's like 12 or 13 megabytes worth of logs from the android device and then you load that into your battery into your battery storage script and it spits out a HTML page giving you your information. So the first thing you actually need to do is um, uh, run this command. So it's adb shell dump system battery stats dash dash enable full wake history. This will only work on Lollipop. And I'm assuming by now you know where the adb command is. I have it added to uh, my uh, path to the global path variable, which means I can access it from anywhere in the terminal. Or in the command prompt but it's actually it's in the S, uh, SDK under platform tools so that's it just there so I'll just put this off to the side anyway let's just uh, clean up our thing here uh, you can google around and find the tool to enable the full battery sets as an XDA thread on it so <clears throat> sorry let's actually have a, got a bit of a cold uh, let's uh, actually do our uh, stuff so let's get our bug report first of all so i'm going to load this into my development folder and it's adb um bug report and we want to give it an output which is bug report dot txt bugger there we go so i have to put a, an arrow in and this can actually take a minute or so to actually pull all the information off the device so i'll pause the stream or i'll pause the video and we'll get it when we come back okay so our bug report just there took about a minute or so so now that's ready um you're gonna need two things for the next part you're gonna need python if you're on a mac you already have it you're good if you're on windows you'll need to download it so go to the python download page download python 2.7 install it and in your C uh, drive, there'll be a C, there'll be a folder in your drive called Python 2.7, 2.7. Essentially, this is this command prompt over here. Navigate to that, and you're ready to go. Second piece, you're going to need to get the Battery Historian. It's on GitHub under Google Battery Historian. Just download the zip, extract the uh, historian.py file, the Python file, and you're good to go with that. So I have that in my development folder. So what we're going to do now is we're going to convert our bug report.txt into an actual uh, Python file. In fact, if I open up this, I don't know what's in this bug report.txt. I've never actually opened it. So essentially here you go. You've got like tons and tons and tons of logs in here. Hundreds of logs. All kind of crazy information. So let's actually do our thing. So essentially what we need to do is we need to tell Python to load the uh, right script. So that's under, if I just drag and drop the script into the command prompt, play, pull up the file path. Uh, uh, then we want uh, dash A for our input. So bug report. And then that's going to go out to, uh, I'm actually going to just drag and drop the bug report again and just delete that part. Start.html. Give that a second. And there we go. Sometimes it says event category not found. I find that doesn't actually cause any problems. So let's open that up in our browser. So it might take a second to open. There's quite a lot in here. Okay, so the damn thing opened. Now you really do need to see this in like full screen because this is crazy. So as you can see, here is our battery stats. So as you can see, you can see uh, uh, things. So the battery level. So there it's a uh, duration zero hours. So we can see, look, at around our battery was 75. 
519 last night at 10 so at 4 7 a.m batteries are 48 percent so you can actually watch your battery going down as the stats get better and better as it goes along a lot of information in here by the way like holy damn this is like a lot of information so let's actually look at some things so here we've got plugs so we've plugged in plugged from 330 353 to 4 to 423 so 50 minutes uh plugged in wasn't plugged in at all that at that point i was going to bed at 10 50 last night I went to bed early and i plugged in my phone and realized oh hang on i want to do the battery stats thing so i unplugged it you can see here's where it's been plugged into my computer for half an hour and here for a quarter of an hour i was plugged in for a little bit as well uh, today that was actually to bring up my battery because i was going off for a while so here you can see the screen times and here we can see yeah all the different times my screen has been on so it's been on for a while now uh, it's been sitting there plugged in my phone doesn't turn off and it's plugged in a developer option on well if you look at some of the other things so reddit sync pro an app i use i was on it for 2.8 hours yesterday apparently that's quite a long time why was i on that app for so long maybe no the screen wasn't on look you can see the screen wasn't actually on so that was sitting there just there uh google camera that was on at the top of the list so you can see all these other apps real time dublin that's actually apps i'm working on uh, more reddit sync google music uh quick search box so that would have been the home screen i would have been on that good bit of the time Let's see what else we've got so you can see what apps are you're using and you can see lots of other stuff so here's sync so these are sync adapters running so as you can see look we've got my email Wow, well, my email syncs quite a lot. I looked at timely syncing, calendar. Yeah, so my calendar was syncing and come to google.ears.herd. Maybe it's just syncing like voice stuff. Uh, that's my other, my work email. So you can see all this it's cool stuff uh, syncing up. So these are all the sync adapters running in the background. That's uh, Google, uh, Google Drive Photo down sync. So here we go, here's our actual wake clock. So here's where we want to actually see our phone doing stuff. So as you can see here, we've got, you know, uh, Bluetooth timer, service tracker, all this crazy stuff. There's actually, I think it's a face, Facebook keep alive manager. Just keep the app alive in the background. It's one thing Facebook does kind of wonkily. Net scheduler. <coughs> sorry, I'm sorry about coughing into the mic there. So you can see like the screen, different things, you know all the times i've been using my phone and it's very interesting look async service facebook client connect manager all these cool things have happened so wake reason all oh, loads of more information mobile radio so here's all the times the radio was awake so from about during the middle of the night my phone was actually uh, the radio was turned on quite a lot but you can see, look, the duration of the radio turn on is almost nothing. Now, I wonder why the radio is turning on so much, because there's a big gap here. Do you I mean? Like a seven hours gap, like quite a lot of a gap, or three hours. That's very odd. Anyway, you can see, uh, you know, discharging battery, Wi-Fi full lock, all the times Wi-Fi scans took place. Look at that in the middle of the night. It's just constantly scanning Wi-Fi while the Wi-Fi was off. I turned it off, by the way. And uh, it'll do that anyway. During today, you can see when I was away for a few hours. Uh, you can see the Wi-Fi coming on and off. Wi-Fi running. Uh, long time. You can see all the cool stuff your phone is actually doing in the background. GPS, the health apps. Uh, my Bluetooth would have been on a lot as well, if you didn't notice, because um, it's not actually on it, but because of my watch. Uh, audio. Why was that on for 27 hours? I don't know. But anyway, you can see like there's lots of cool battery stats here and you can see lots of cool things to help solve problems in apps. I haven't fully figured out all the information in this because like look at it, there's a lot. But it's it's pretty cool. A lot of cool stuff in here. Let's see what else we got. So GPS turning on. 
uh, 0.1 hours so on a couple of seconds so I can see the GPS turning on every now and then around here is a lot of GPS and that's actually if I scroll up should be able to find what time was that 428 yesterday I was working on my own stuff Yeah, so there's like the real-time Dublin app I'm working on, which uses location. So that lined up with signal strength and all the GPS turning on as well, which is excellent. Which means that that was using my location at the right time. So you can line these up over time. There's actually charts of everything. So you can see the actual Wi-Fi being active, okay, here. So you can see, look, Wi-Fi on for a while yesterday. And then I switched it off when I went to bed before I put the phone to charger. So if we scroll up, this should line up roughly with a charging event. Yeah, there it is there. And my screen was on last night. I was reading stuff on my phone. I normally read on my tablet though. So here you can see, look, plug none, USB. Uh, connect, connect, connectivity manager. So all this deadly stuff. So you can really see how your battery is getting drained. So if you notice up here, like uh, the battery level falling a lot, very, very quickly over a short period of time on your battery stats, you can actually dig in here, so say so between 10 and 11, the battery went down a lot. So you can actually look in here and see what apps were running and what was actually happening at that time. Uh, whether the radio was permanently on, whether things didn't work. And you can do lots of cool information and figure out a lot of stuff. So this is more useful for tracking down what a phone was doing in the background while, you were, uh, while your battery was dropping at certain points. And it's a very, very cool uh, tool. So anyway, guys, that's it for the Battery Historian. I hope you uh, liked it. And I'll see you next time.